It's official. You trade stocks. Fox Tail from the D. What's up, YouTube, and welcome to Black Girl Stocks. I'm gonna go through actually how to download the app, how to gain access to it, and to get that free stock. See, I told you, when you click the link, click the link below, and uh, once you download it with my link, we're both gonna get a free stock. So you're gonna get a free stock, I'm gonna get a free stock. Also, what I want you to do is, I want you to comment below what free stock you got. Like, I'm interested in knowing. I wanna see somebody that got something higher than like a three or six dollar stock. I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm very thankful, but damn, like who's getting the Apple stocks around here? So leave a comment below and tell me what, what free stock you got, all right? So I don't know what phone you have. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use an iPhone because <laughs> iPhone is the best. I'm not biased, but I am. <clears throat> all right, so first you're gonna go into the app store. All right, so check into your apps. So just type in the Robinhood. Once Robinhood comes up, just click it and download it. I already have it on my phone, so I don't have to, but just go ahead and download it. Okay, so we're gonna come to the beginning. Once you actually download the app, you're gonna click onto the open screen and it's gonna prompt for you to either log in or sign up. So once you sign up, you're gonna need to put in an application. This is an application. This is, you know, not just anybody can do this. This isn't a for everybody club. You have to apply for this, okay? So, you're gonna apply for it. Put it in your application. So let's go to that. Here you have the welcome screen. So it says, welcome to Robinhood. Swipe to learn more, okay? All right, and so what it's basically saying here is, you know, this is free stock trading. So other stock brokers actually charge you, they actually charge you a commission fee for every time you buy or sell a stock. That's crazy. I can't believe that. How do people make money doing that? Like you have to be really good or be making huge profits to have to pay every single every single time you buy or sell a stock. That's absolutely crazy to me. I feel like that's not right and that's probably why they're not doing that mess a lot, but I'm going to put a little, uh, <laughs> I'm going to put a little screen, I'm going to put a screen up, <clears throat> but you see here, some things have actually changed now. I know that TD Ameritrade is actually free, but you can see here, this is an old chart, but what you see is TD Ameritrade is charging you basically $7. This Charles Schwab, they're charging five, Fidelity, five. E-Trade, five, Merrill Edge, seven. Sometimes I'm not even giving, getting $7 on a profit, so that's, that's a no for me. So obviously Robinhood is the way to go. So yeah, stop paying up to $10 for every trade, duh. Robinhood is obviously the best option to make, so that's why I downloaded it. Next, this screen is just letting you know that your account is protected and uh, it's protected under ISPC securities. It's protected up to $500,000. So if you plan on getting up to that, just know that that money's good. If something happens, the stock goes crazy or your app crashes or just some something like that, then you'll be good to go. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. Boop, boop. So uh, I'm not really worried about that. Let's go next. Stay on top of your portfolio anytime, anywhere. That's why we have iPhones. Uh, that makes sense to me, you know. <sighs> huh. um, so that's all pretty self-explanatory. So I'm not worried about that. This is where we get into the nitty gritty. It's gonna ask you for your email address. So type in an email that you use regularly. You can do that. Or if you plan on buying and selling stocks often, day trading maybe, frequently, I would suggest making an email just for this Robinhood account because there's a lot of tax information that's that's involved in these emails. Like there's a lot of tax stuff involved in that. You may not want that, you know, that that information in your regular email. So just you can just go ahead and make your make your own email address for your stocks, for your money. This is another stream of income. So you can go ahead and do that. I didn't. If I would, if I would have known starting back up, I would have made my own email address because you just have all these random buy, sell, buy, sell. It just sends all these emails. So I would just make make an email specifically for this. 
So here it's going to ask you to make a Robinhood username and password. You can make whatever username you want. Me, I use my business title, Foxtel Digital, and password. You don't need to know about that. It's not your business. Let's, go, let's actually, let's go next. Then right here, it's going to ask you for your full name, your full name, first and last name. Not Ray Ray, not Rico, not Nisa, not Shay Shay. I'm talking about your real government first and last name. Don't be ashamed. This is all federal, you know, IRS stuff. They need to know this stuff. They're not playing any games. Then it's gonna ask you for your phone number just in case they need to contact you, call you, let you know if anything's going up with your account, whatever. It's just your contact information. All right, so this is where it gets a little interesting. This is your identity, identity verification. So they're just identifying you as a person. Type in your birthday, and then it's gonna ask you for your address. Just type your address in. Do you live in the United States? What country? And it's now gonna ask you for your social security number. Social, social security number. It's gonna ask you for your social. You have to type in your social. I know this a little, you know, that's a little lightly tread. The IRS is involved. They need to know who you are. That's what your identification number is. That's what your social is. So anybody trying to take anything from you, girl, put your social in there. So it's just gonna ask you for your social. You have to do that. It's by law, federal law. Uh, they need that information. All right, and then it's gonna ask you how much experience do you have with trading? So this is an honest question because the way you answer this question, they have different news feeds and uh, different stocks that they recommend. If you say you don't know very much, they're gonna give you light bits of information that are gonna help you on your trading journey. But if you put that you're an experienced expert, you know, they're gonna throw you all the top stuff about businesses that you probably don't even know what to do with that information just yet. I know I might not, I might, you know. I feel like if you're here watching Black Girl Stocks, you probably don't know too much. We're here starting from the ground up. So just click on that. Um, click on whether you're employed or not. So here it says, uh, do you have a family member that works for another US brokerage? Uh, I don't know. To me, I'm not sure what that means. I just said no, but I don't know if that means, you know, they're trying to see if it's some inside stuff. Like, I'm not trying to get caught up, honey, like some Martha Stewart mess. That Martha Stewart mess. Do you or a family member, have, are, are you a 10% 10, 10 shareholder of a trading company? Now it's gonna ask you how you're gonna fund your account. So how do you wanna put money into your Robinhood portfolio? It's going to show you a list of banks. Um, so just pick and choose whatever bank you wanna use. You can transfer funds, do direct deposits, all of that straight from your bank account or for your debit card. So it's very, very convenient. Right here you have some disclosure read. I really never read it, I don't know. All right, so it's gonna submit your application and we're just gonna wait, see what happens. Are you approved? Are you not? Waiting game. Three hours later. All right, so you were approved for Robinhood. So now you're in the account. You already clicked the link, you clicked my link. Okay, you clicked my link. <laughs> Uh, you click my link, you got your free stock, you have the Robinhood app. You're a stock trader now. You now trade stocks. You can now go and say, oh yeah, I trade stocks. Yeah, I I'm in the stock market. You are. So, all right, last thing I'm gonna show you is how to actually claim this free stock that you got. So I'm gonna blur out my account. Just know that I'm getting gains. That's, that's all you need to see. You see these gains. All right, all you need to worry about is that. Just click here. You see where it says claim your free stock? So just click right there. It's gonna pop up the screen here. Now this is where it gets interesting. You have three choices that you can pick off. It's like a scratch off, like stocks. Scratch off. Any, meeny, money, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him. Wait, what? If he hollers, let him go. You, yo, oh, God. There was another one that we used to do. I'll just pick the right one. Okay. Uh, it's a mess. Yeah. Okay. So that's why. Yeah, I want you to comment below how much your stock was because they keep giving me these little three dollar mess and I'm thankful. I'm very thankful. I'm not complaining about free money, girl. But but yeah, so you basically get the gist of it. This is how you get your free stock. You are now on Robinhood. You're now trading stocks. You're a stock trader now. It's official. 
you trade stocks. So yeah, that's basically it. But I know that there might be a little bit of intimidation about trading on an application. Mind you, it's, it's so simple now. You do it at the drop of a dime. So I don't want you to be intimidated. We're gonna start very slowly. I'm gonna make it as simple, simplistic, basic. What's that word? Layman? I'm gonna make it easy for you to learn how to make money. So with that being said, we're gonna wrap this up. I'm finished talking, you have the app. The next video is where we're gonna start to learn a little bit more about inside the app. Actually, the next video I wanna do is how much money do you actually need to start investing? Be on the lookout for that. So thank you for watching. Uh, if this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. We're gonna have a lot of fun here. I'm having a lot of fun just recording it and going through the process of trying to get my stock, my stock knowledge up so that I can help you get yours. What I learn, you learn. What you learn, I learn. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or let me know if you liked this video, if it was helpful for you. Are you excited for videos we have to come? I appreciate you. I love your energy. Like I love the love that we've gotten so far on this channel are really, really supporting Black Girl Stocks. So I just wanna tell you guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Let's get this money. Black Girl Stocks. All right. Ah.